If you have been into software engineering for a while, the term Docker has likely crossed your path, sparking curiosity and raising questions like what exactly is Docker and why are so many people talking about it? That is why in this video, we're going to demystify Docker in five minutes. So whether you're a developer, a student, or just a tech enthusiast, I'm sure you'll learn something new. Before we learn what Docker is or what it does, let's try to understand why we need it. Imagine you're a developer. You've just written a killer app on your laptop that requires some dependencies to run. But when you send the code files for your app to your friend and they try running it on their machine, it doesn't work because your friend's laptop does not have the required dependencies to run the app. Docker is designed to solve exactly these kinds of problems. It ensures that your application runs seamlessly in any environment, be it your laptop, your friend's gaming PC, or a cloud-based server. So what exactly is Docker? Docker is a tool that is used to package applications along with all of their dependencies into a single unit called a container image. This process is called containerization and the container image produced is basically a snapshot of the app along with all of its dependencies. We can use the container image of our app to run instances or also known as containers of our application on pretty much any machine running any operating system. Container images are immutable which means every container run from the same image will run identically. Now that we have containerized our app, we can share the container image with our friends so that they can run containers of our application on their machines. To do that, we need to host our container images on the internet by pushing them to a container registry. Docker Hub is the most popular public container registry, which means the container images hosted there are publicly accessible. You can develop multiple applications containerize them and then host them on Docker Hub. All popular open source software like Node.js, MongoDB, MySQL, Python, etc, etc are available on the Docker Hub. Once your container image is up there on Docker Hub, whoever wants to run a container from it on their system can just pull the container image from Docker Hub to their machine. In the case where your application is private, your container image should not be hosted on a public container registry like Docker Hub. Instead, you should push it to a private container registry like AWS Elastic Container Registry. Unlike public container registries, private container registries will require you to pay for the storage that is being used to host your image. Also, private container registries require users to log in before pulling or pushing container images. Now that you are familiar with the why and what of containers, let's look at some benefits they provide. The first is consistency. Containers ensure that applications run the same way regardless of where they're deployed. This consistency eliminates the it works on my machine problem as the environment is replicated exactly across the different machines. The second is lightweight. Containers work somewhat like virtual machines, but they consume much less resources. As a result, a single machine can run many containers in parallel, but not many VMs. The third is elasticity. Containers can be started, stopped, and replicated within seconds. This elasticity is crucial for scaling applications based on demand. The fourth is isolation. Containers running on a machine are isolated from each other. This isolation allows for running multiple containers simultaneously on the same host without conflicts. These containers could be running totally different applications with different sets of dependencies without any conflict. The fifth and final benefit is versioning. When we containerize our app, we provide a tag indicating the application's version. The created container image is pushed to the Docker Hub with the same exact tag. This way, Docker Hub hosts all the versions of our application and we can choose to pull whatever version we want. To recap, Docker is just a tool that is used to package applications along with all of their dependencies into containers, which can then run reliably in any environment. Docker isn't just a tool. It's a part of a larger trend in software development focusing on building containerized microservices. Docker is reshaping how we build and deploy applications, making the process more efficient and reliable. And that is Docker in five minutes. Honestly, I had to cut down on a lot of technical details to make this video possible. So if you would like me to make a detailed video tutorial showing you how to containerize applications using Docker, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you found this video helpful, do let the YouTube algorithm know by leaving a like. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.